right around 8.15 this morning here on the Braden River in this Marshall Landing subdivision. We are on the east side of the Braden River, which runs north-south. Over on the west side, there was a complaint from homeowners of a man who was trespassing. Uh, deputies responded, didn't see him. We got a call back a little while later that he was in the mangroves and kind of pushing the, the shrubs back and forth. When deputies arrived, they made entry through this neighborhood and from this side of the river, they were able to see him standing waist high in what appeared to be about the middle of the river. He uh, was not in distress. He was talking to deputies, uh, identified himself. Deputies are familiar with this person from uh, previous history. He then was encouraged to just make his way to the deputies over on the dock. The deputies are in the process of uh, preparing themselves to go into the water and also securing a boat. Uh, during this time period of just a couple of minutes, he uh, made some comment about the current and he did say help and then he disappeared. Uh, deputies uh, immediately started just trying to look along the shore to see whether he swam under and resurfaced somewhere else. At this point, we have not found him, so we do not know whether he went under and didn't come up or whether he swam away. Had he been in some recent trouble that he would be going back to jail? He was aware of the fact that the neighbors over there were wanting to have him trespassed. We would assume he knew that. He did mention that he didn't want to go to jail. He said that multiple times and deputies kept encouraging him just don't worry about that just get over here let's get you some water let's get you out of the water uh, there are gators in here that's just not safe for him to be you know in this water without any kind of flotation device um, neighbors say that a uh, portion of this area here is fairly shallow and it was because he was standing just waist high about the middle of the river from what the deputies could see from their vantage point does he live in the area or was he just here? I'm not familiar where his actual address is. It's uh, possible that he does have family not far from here off State Road 70. Obviously, you said deputies know him. I mean, is, does he have a violent past? This person, um, who we're not going to positively identify right now, uh, but just based on him talking to the deputies, he disclosed his name. Uh, there is a criminal history there, yes. It has to be hard for deputies. Yeah, they're, they're, they're responding to this trespassing call and then they're making eye contact with him. They're doing everything they can to encourage him to get out of the water. And, and again, they're taking their equipment off. Uh, they just can't jump in with the, you know, all of the stuff that they have because that could be you know, dangerous for them. So they're trying to prepare themselves to get into the water when he disappears. Um, he did not seem to be in distress right up to the point where he said uh, there's a current help and then that was the last communication uh, we had with him. But prior to that, he seemed completely relaxed and was not uh, in distress. And when he said that, he was standing in just the waist deep water? He was standing uh, about waist deep. Uh, oh. I, would, I would describe it as maybe 40 to 50 feet from this dock um, and it may be a little bit closer to the other side. Uh, we have a little buoy marker that's sitting there in the middle of the river right now. Uh, that was the point uh, where we last had visual and uh, any kind of communication with him. So when he went under, did it appear like he was going to go swimming or like he got pulled under? It happened so fast. I mean, literally, as deputies are talking to him, it's possible, you know, they glance down because they're taking their gun belts off and they're prepping to go into the water and he, he disappeared. So we don't know. You know, we, we hope that he just swam away uh, and that he's somewhere over here and we'll eventually find him and he's okay, um, but we don't know at this point. We are using our drone team right now to do some aerial um, and we have the dive team that's here. Uh, there are boats that are in the river right now, some fire rescue, so we're doing everything we can to try to locate him in this area, figuring that he would have gone straight to the mangroves on that side or on this side. At some point, we'll we'll go deeper and uh, and start looking to see, you know, hopefully not, uh, but maybe a body is actually in the river. Seems safe to just. I mean, is there any concern of wildlife? I mean, gators, just because of the way he was standing. 
any fresh water in Florida, there's always that danger of, of alligators. And there was an alligator spotted in this area um, earlier today.